He that dwelleth in the secret place of the highest shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the highest, thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will deliver him, and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. In a world of over seven billion people, it's easy to feel small, to feel as if our day-to-day -day lives aren't worth much, especially when we're drowning in a sea of the mundane. Yet the Lord has a mission and a plan for each and every one of us. We all have unique gifts and talents. We all have unique perspectives, certain friend groups, and various workplaces. God uses this rich diversity to carry out His will, and His plans are always bigger, bolder, and better than anything we could ever imagine. When you start to feel small, we hope these encouraging Bible verses will remind you of God's plan for your life. Although you may feel that your life is ordinary, in the hands of our Maker the extraordinary is always possible. 1. Jeremiah 29:11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. 2. Esther 4:14. 4, Perhaps you were born for such a time as this. 3. Romans 8:28. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. 4. Psalm 33:11. The plans of the Lord stand firm forever, the purposes of his heart through all generations. 5. Jeremiah 1:5. Before I formed you in the womb I knew you, and before you were born I consecrated you, I appointed you a prophet to the nations. 6. 2 Peter 3 9. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. 7. Psalm 32 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, I will counsel you with my eye upon you. 8. Proverbs 3 5-6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight.